I'm Sheila D. here at the 2014 JPL NASA Open House. This open house is a two-day event put on once a year by JPL to let members of the public come in and find out what JPL and NASA are doing. Organizer Kim Levens shares how popular this event is. We've got a lot of people here today. Um, we're over 10,000 already. Our parking lots are saturated. We're, the good news is people are going home, so more people are being able to come in and park in the closer lots. Um, we have probably 500 plus employees staffing this exhibit today, helping us to uh, formulate our booths and keep people moving. We have our spacecraft assembly facility open, which has SMAP, one of our, our uh, missions that is going to launch out of Vandenberg Air Force Base this January. We have a big comet model that is uh, over in one of our cafeteria uh, patio areas that is kind of showing a lot of steam coming off of it. It's kind of, kind of cool. With so much to see, it's hard to know where to start. Where is a good starting point? So a good starting point, if you haven't ever been to JPL, you can start up here in our Space Flight Operations Facility. Um, this right here is where we control our Mars rovers. Um, also our satellites and our deep space network are controlled from here. Uh, it looks like um, when you see in the movies, you've got people at a control panel and they've got all the computers that they're looking at. Another great place to visit, number 15 on the map here, um, this is SAP. It's our space assembly facility. Uh, yeah. We've got a satellite in there called SMAP. This is a spa uh, SMAP spacecraft. It's currently on its side. It's a spacecraft. It's ready for uh, shipment and it's uh, complete. So it's an unusual situation where we have a complete spacecraft ready to show at an open house. From spacecraft to space cars, we'll take a look at the Mars Exploration Station. What we do here is ask little children to lie down on the ground and we run a little eight-wheeled rover over them and this is to demonstrate how a rover can stay balanced on the Martian surface. What kind of information do we find out from them? Many of the rocks we discover were formed in water and that's that's proof that water existed on Mars. And our goal is to colonize Mars so there'll be humans who, are, who will go to Mars at some point but it also helps us understand what may happen to the Earth. With 22 sites to see, there was a lot of ground to cover. The JPL grounds are 177 acres, uh, which is the same amount as Disneyland. We have a, a mailboxes, we have a, a little fire department, and it's, it's kind of like a very, very small town. So a lot of walking, a lot of hills, because we're built into the foothills of the San Gabriel Mountains. Neither the walking nor the lines discouraged people from coming out to see the weekend's exhibit. We actually braved some of the lines and saw the Earth Science exhibit, and we saw the really fascinating solar system exhibit. But no one could see it all in one day. I definitely would come back next year. I thought it was fascinating. It's a privilege to get in here. I know that it's only once a year, and I definitely would come back.